You can buy and sell without having money, man. And that's in the Bible. So his mark is all of his philosophies, doctrines, his religion, right? His witchcraft, his sorcery. Meaning through his mind control, his sorcery, and his mark going out, which is the doctrines that he pushes, everybody's drunk. Everybody's drunk. Or are you just going to say that if we teach that the mark of the beast is spiritual, right, that we're all set for damnation and we're going to end up being killed? Because that's what these brothers say. That's what this certain camp is saying. Well, that's madness, man. Now, it says poor. You have to literally surgically have a surgery to have the chip implemented in your right hand and in your forehead. Do you think that Esau is giving out free surgeries? If everybody here in America, man, is forced to take this chip, do you know what this place is overly populated? So you're telling me that there's gonna be billions and billions of surgeries and procedures that are done where they're gonna cut open, right? Put the chip in there and sew it back up. Brothers are waxing cold. You waxing cold. We heard what he just said, and it's absolute nonsense. This is a prime example of men operating in the spirit of heresy. All right, it's going to be a new monetary system, and that monetary system is going to come in the way of a chip. Some brothers want the juice so bad, they're willing to be wrong and put their life in jeopardy of the lake of fire. Well, first off, we give all honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rahak Wadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who do well in peace and salutations to all you Akim on the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Rich or poor, I'm pretty sure they're going to lose a lot of money if they force that on everybody. Because poor people, right? They're gonna charge for these things. America ain't gonna be concerned about losing money, okay? This chip is gonna be controlled by elitists by the way of blockchain, all right, on the grid. So this is gonna be a worldwide event, not just America. So them speaking about surgeries and that, that's off. Because the billions of people that he's referred to, many are poor. Many have many uh, have disadvantages, right? Now I want to show you the procedure of what it's going to take to put a chip in your hand. All right, it's simple. It's a two, three minute procedure. This man's speaking of billions of dollars on surgery in America's losing money. They have no understanding. And the lawyer, how Bashim Yahushai said he was going to pour out doctrine, okay, as prophecy. And these men do not understand prophecy. These are false prophets. And brothers been going in, all right, on the MOTB hard. Because only the devil brings confusion. And this is confusion. Right? Sirach 24 and 33 says, I will yet pour out doctrine as prophecy. And these men do not understand prophecy. And leave it to all ages forever. You see, so that prophecy has been opened up to the elect, to the men, all right, that have the understanding. So this is the procedure. It's simple. No hospitals. This man is not even a doctor, all right? They even have home implant kits already out. See, she's just sitting there, a quick pinch, and that's it. But this man over here at WFI Seattle, you saw, you heard what he said, you know? You think America is gonna spend billions of dollars on, on, on surgeries? They have no understanding. This is why our Heavenly Father demanded us to mark them that draw divisions and cause offenses contrary to the doctrine which we have learned. And it also says avoid them. The Lord did not send these prophets. So right now, the mark of the beast right now is spiritual for right now. It's all over the place, man. Because if you don't get your spirit right in these last days, you're going to fall victim to when they turn it into a physical mark. So using this man's logic, if the man 
in this video and his daughter, if they don't get their spirit right, they will take the chip once it gets physical. But we just saw them take the chip. You see how confusing it is? There's people all around the world taking it all already, man. It's already on the scene. So the infrastructure is being built right now where it's going to be that new monetary system, all right, in this fourth industrial revolution. So these brothers right here are shooting from the hip, right? There was no surgical procedure. It was simple, all right? And the chip ain't going to cost a penny, man. It's going to be the new way of life, right? So this is what we wanted to show you, the severity and the error coming out of these men's mouth. So let's get some scriptures on that, man. All right, because this is terrible. And when you really look at it and examine the situation, these characters, all right, they uh, reject Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They reject his message. They reject his messengers. Because when you heard what he said when he opened up, and there's a certain camp that says, this, yeah, man, he's supposed to warn you. See, all these warnings are going out to these brothers, you know, and the Lord is sifting separating all that fat meat, all right, and getting to the prime rib, man, and that's his elect. It was absolutely glorious and beautiful as Yahweh Shai is revealing all you false prophets of Israel. Those who have eyes can see, can see it. We can see it from across the street, all right, because there's only one true doctrine. There's only one truth, and you reject Yahweh Shai. Let's go into the book of John 7. All right, this is John 7 and 16. Yahweh Shai answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man do his will, he shall show of the doctrine, whether it be of Yahweh or whether it speak of myself. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory, but he that seeketh his glory that sent him, the same is true. And no unrighteousness is in him. You see that? And that's exactly what's going on. Vain glory. They hear the message. Because they're responding to the videos. They're responding to the brothers' videos. Right? All these camps. But the pride of Jake. Right? The pride of your heart have deceived you, man. To the point where you come up to these ridiculous points. All right? About surgery about surgery and Esau losing money. Let's get Wisdom of Solomon in the first chapter. This is Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 4. For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide with unrighteousness coming within. You see, so the Holy Spirit is not going to dwell and deal in temples of men that speak heresy. He ain't going to deal with you. So the wisdom and knowledge of understanding, you lack it. Right? And these camps are just set up out here. These brothers ain't got no garments on. They're just like brothers out on the street corner. Right? We're supposed to represent Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Coming in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Which means you have to have the message. Singing the right song. Right? The Holy Spirit ain't going to deal with someone. All right? Who don't have sound doctrine. Let's get that in the book of Titus. All right? This is Titus 1 and 9. It says, holding fast the faithful word as he have been taught that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. And if brothers was really sincere, they would just consider, you know, you would just consider and listen and understand what your teaching is off, right? And when the Lord spoke about that in the next verse, it says, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. Yeah, Hebrew Israelites. All right. Whose mouths must be stopped. 
who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not. And that's what's going on. It's not about having, you know, 200, 300, 500 camps on the street. And your name being out there. No, man, it's about having men out in the blocks, on the corners, to have sound doctrine, like we just read in the book of Titus, so they can convince the gainsayers the right way with sound doctrine, right? So you're supposed to be a watchman of Israel. This is the name of this group, right? And the job is to warn them, not confuse. Ezekiel 33 and 7. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. So that's what we're doing. We're warning you, sending out warnings and warnings. So the blood is not going to be on our hands. See, you can't wobble back and forth. You got to have a correct message. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thine hand. And that's what these men are not considering. And prophecy speaks about all right, men that will teach these things. The book of 1 Corinthians is the 11th chapter off the top. All right, you know, we'll get that. This is, um, let me get it, 1 Corinthians 11 to 19. For there must be also heresies among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. All right, and where the Lord is manifesting and showing us who these heretical groups are. We at the end times. We are at the end of the end days. Prophecies unfolding daily. So we have to pay attention and have discernment. It's no time to uh, wavering. All right. You have to be solid in your foundation and stand and hold fast to what you have learned. All right. So in conclusion, we can see that the Lord has blinded them. He ain't going to allow them to see. He's just not going to allow you to see unless you repent. Right, but you won't. So y'all brothers can have the juice. You can have it. Right? You remember what happened to Bishop at the end. He took that L. Right? He took that L and died. And when you opened up, you said something about death. And if you didn't listen, well thou sayest, I give all honor and glory to my heavenly father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rahakwadash, and double honors. To the elders and apostles of the great millstone who do well. Peace and salutations to all you Akims, to brothers on the mob. On to the next Shalom. Yo. You got the juice now, man.